Hi, welcome to our MyWorks lesson on sinking and floating. This is one of our first lessons in the science area and it's always a favorite with the kids. You'll have it prepared, ready to go, and we'll show you everything that you need to have on your shelf. This may be a work that you want to do in a kitchen environment because there is water involved as there is with many of our MyWorks lessons and it's always best spilling will inevitably be part of what happens and cleaning up is a big part of all these lessons and so a kitchen might be a better choice to do this work. Um, you'll notice I already have water in my pitcher, I cheated a little bit, but what you'll want to do when it's time to go get the water, that's also part of the lesson. So your child will carry the pitcher so carefully with two hands, walk carefully to a sink, they may need your assistance depending on their level of ability, turn on the water, fill up the pitcher, and then come back so carefully so that the work is ready to go. And now we'll say, I'd like to show you something. Can we do a science experiment on things that sink and float? So this will be waiting for you on the shelf. All right, so let's look at some of these things. I wonder if they will sink or float. Hmm, so sinking is when something goes down to the bottom underneath the water. And floating is when it stays at the top of the water and doesn't go down underneath. So is this one sinking or floating? And they'll say that it's sinking or floating and you can discuss it from that point. Then you'll take this and you'll say, this floated. So you'll put it under float. Hmm, a marble. I wonder if this is going to sink or float. And with older children, later you could even talk about a scientific hypothesis where the kids have to kind of guess and think about, hmm, I wonder if this one's going to sink or float. That's a big part of science. Ah, that one sunk. It's under the water. We'll put that under sink. Oh, here's a shell. This came from the ocean. I wonder if this one's gonna sink or float. Mm, it hit the bottom. We'll put this one under sink. Oh, this is a little cork. That one definitely floats. You can even push it down and it pops right back up. So now you can lay out all the things. If they have more questions or they may want to do it again, many times they'll want to repeat a lesson, which is absolutely fine. Let them use this as long as the interest is there. And as soon as the conversation has ended and that you don't have any other questions or things you want to talk about with sinking and floating, then you can put the work away. And as always, getting the work out and putting it away is part of the process.